And now that we have a cube and a sphere, we're just going to do a simple little toggle between them using a key press. So we'll go over to our empty game object, which uh, we're going to have all of our scripts on. And from here, when we click add component, we can just start typing anything we want. Uh, let's say toggle objects. And it's going to assume in that case that we want to make a script. So we click new script. C sharp is what we want. Create and add. And then if we double click right there, that opens us up. And so the first thing we're going to need is to define our two objects. So we're just going to have two public game objects that will be easy to select um, from the inspector that we were just at. So first one we're just going to call, or not circle, I guess, sphere. And the next one will be our cube. And so as I said in the inspector, we're just going to have both of those things selected from the objects we created. And now we just want to make it so that with the key press, um, we can toggle between them. So in the update function, which again is being called every frame, um, we're going to say input key down, so only when the button is pressed down, because if you hold a button down, it's going to continually toggle between them. Um, we're going to say the key is going to be the space bar. So there involves a key code that falls in pretty automatically. As we're going to say, if someone presses that, we want to toggle between the two objects. And oh, there's one other thing we're going to need for that. We're going to need a Boolean operation. This can be private, actually, just to have a distinction. We, we don't need to see it. And if it doesn't need to be accessed outside of the script, it can be private. So private bool, and we're just going to call that toggle. And so when this happens, um, we want to switch between toggle being true and false. And so that's saying, you know, whether it's true or false, let's make it the opposite of that. And then we're going to have sphere be one of those. And we just want cube to be the opposite. Because it doesn't actually matter when it's true or when it's false, we just want only one of these to be active at a time. So if this is true, then this is going to be false. And if this is false, this is going to be true. The exclamation point basically sets it up as an opposite. So if we build that, Control shift b is what I use. We can also do it up there. Then hopefully it works. We don't get any errors. Build succeeded. And then we go back into Unity. and when this loads back up, it'll be asking us for those objects. So sphere, we have our sphere here. Oh, and a quick little pro tip. If you want to be able to keep this window up, you can hit that little lock up there. So that'll stay there. And now we can select these, and it still stays. So now we can go cube, put the cube there, sphere, put the sphere there. And now if I hit play, now if I hit the space bar, it toggles between the two. Ta-da!